out of here. I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. Hello, BBs. How are you? I hope that you guys have been staying warm as the weather has really started to cool off this week, especially where I am. Today is a really special request from my guy, Samurai Swain. He recommended to me the game Slay the Princess, which is an indie game from Black Tabby Games. Uh, it was released in 2023, so last year. Really, the short and sweet of it is instead of saving the princess, we're trying to kill her. Oh, look at her. She's trapped. I feel like this game is going to make me very conflicted, which is both good and bad. <laughs> Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Seems a little dramatic, not gonna lie. Oh, okay, so we get to choose what we're gonna do. There's a lot of options. Sweet, I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution! <laughs> okay, let's see. I wanna, I'm curious if it'll actually tell us I'm what that means. about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Look, Ask you're already evidence. on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Yeah, but if I don't know why, why would I do it? How can a princess locked away in a don't basement? linger on the specifics. Destroy the world. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. Seems a little bit biased. Does it? Are you a monarchist? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value oh. to society. I mean, he kind of got me there. Look, I'll go into the cabinet and I'll talk to her, and if she's as bad as you say she is, then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committing to anything until I had the chance to meet her face to face. That's what I'm I guess go we'll with. just have to see what happens. But a word of warning: if you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. I'm ready. Then each and every one of us is doomed. So sure, go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. It's a risk I'm willing to take. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Can we just admire, like, the artistic side of this game? Like, I really want to know how long it took them to draw each of these little frames and to animate them. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. I don't know. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. See the dagger? The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. So no one's been in here for quite some time. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Oh, it kind of you can look kind of look around a little bit. All right, take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. What's that supposed to mean? She gonna put up a fight? All right, I guess we're going into the basement. Oh, look, the mouse made it so now it has a dagger. So is that my hand? The door to the basement creaks open revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. Gross. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. 
her out of her, her misery. Voice carries up the stairs. <laughs> Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Dangerous? Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Danger was not the first thing that would have came to mind. I think she just has a really kind of nice raspy voice. Hi! <laughs> that would probably be me. Just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Just continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Looks like she broke out of that one over there. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? When you say coldly beautiful, that kind of makes me think of that she is the villain. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Oh, don't be so sassy. Like, are you cocky that I might not kill you? What? No way. Why would you even think that? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. No, no. -uh. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? Mm. Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. You don't have to drop it. You can still talk, don't though. Dare. <laughs> it's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. I mean, it's true. My my inner conscious says don't drop it. I mean, my inner conscious says just to to uh, talk it out. All right, let's just err on the side of caution. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip. <gasps> Look at her face. She looks so disappointed in me. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. Mmm. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh wait, am I already gonna kill her? That's not what I- that wasn't my intention. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Oh, so... She's not even scared. She not- she's- she's ready. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. I could. I could make this such a quick and short run. Are you sure she's not armed? Ugh. I don't know. Seems like maybe she's gone through this before. Maybe she's got something hiding under that dress. What if she's not bluffing? You go into this expecting to die. You're going to die. Hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? I'm not dropping the blade. Slayer. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that. Then I'm not talking to you. Come on. Fine, then I guess we're at an impasse. Squint at the princess while holding on to the blade. <laughs> What's that gonna do? Let's say we're at an impasse. I guess we are. For the love of everything, just slay her already. Can't tell me what or to do. Drop the blade. Do something. All right. Because I don't. I just. I really want to know what happens. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm. I'm probably just gonna drop the blade. For goodness sake, the two of you can't just stand around like this forever. Maybe I can. Eventually, something is going to give, and I highly recommend that you be the one to take the initiative here. We'll talk first. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Let's hear it. What you gotta say? Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. Mm. Am I gonna regret this? Probably. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. She looks innocent. Enough. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. She doesn't really strike me as a 
a damsel in distress, though, the way that she's talking. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Mm. I should have just stabbed you. <laughs> Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Yeah, she's like really hiding something. Let's see, there's people out there that think Don't you're gonna end the world. Tell her that. Why not? That's cute. Do you believe that? Look how her face changed. Some sort of <laughs> monster. I don't know, you might be. If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so dangerous? No, but I was hoping that you would. I was hoping you'd tell me. Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. I mean, I don't know. It depends on what powers you have. I believe her. Yeah. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. I feel like this is one of those situations where, like, if you knew someone was born to destroy the world, would you kill them before they could? Like, before they even knew that they gained those powers to destroy the world? So, I don't know. It's a conundrum. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Well, I don't think we can trust anybody, honestly. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. And you didn't tell me simple information about yourself either. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. I guess. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. Mm -hmm. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? That's true. We don't really know each other at all, and we don't know the person who's telling us to kill you. She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. So you say. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. Just taking shots in the dark here. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? I don't really trust either of you, because when I got in here, you had an attitude. So... I don't know. She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. Mm. We stand to lose everything. All for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. So, the narrator could just be against having the monarchy in general. And it could just be somebody who just wants to take them down. And that's why they want me to kill the princess. Maybe she's the last monarch standing before she like becomes queen. And they just want to take over when she dies. Let's see. How long have you been down here? Too long. She's very not forthcoming with actual information. You can't. Don't bother. Oh, okay. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. Nope. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Look at that face. What is she thinking? What are you plotting? Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. Chop her arm off? Right, she is. I'm sure of it. Don't jump to any weird conclusions. <laughs> I just want to see what she'd say. <laughs> We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Is that how that works? Oh, have you decided what to do with me? Hmm. No one's really given me any good information. You know why you're here. Yeah. I'm going to keep you locked away here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Ooh. Yeah, we could keep going. Let's figure out some that more. seems like a pretty good compromise. Yeah. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. She looks kind of pissed. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. Nah. 
And if you don't... What's she gonna do? You're chained up. I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. <sighs> I don't like all this pressure. Uh, I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. I just don't feel right slaying her because there's really like I don't have any reason to except for someone told me that I should do it. And I don't agree with that. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. I mean, what? what's the worst that she could do if she stays locked up forever? She would become emaciated if you don't feed her. It's a chance we'll have she to would die anyway. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. We are going to stay and keep watch? You're making a mistake. Yeah, mistake to stay and watch you and get bored really quick. You turn your back to the princess. Did you grab the knife? your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. Ooh. Once I'm out of here... There will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Come at me, then. Slip these chains. She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? Mm. This is you can true. still turn around and finish the job. <sighs> I don't know. I hate decisions. I'm the most indecisive person. I mean, do we shank her before she can kill us? <sighs> Let's just commit. We're gonna commit to the plan. It'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. I'm gonna regret it. You close the basement door, locking it behind What's you. What's that table gonna do? It with a heavy wooden table that once held the blade. I hope you slap. You do okay. slap the blade on you. We can make this work. Sure. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your <sighs> eyelids heavy with fatigue. Can't be but falling asleep on the come. job, man. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still Oh, there. Jesus. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? <gasps> the way her voice changed. No. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyway. Oh! It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. God, she's a demon. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. Is the banging getting louder or is it just me? As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. How'd she get out of the chains, though? Can I get out of here? I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, but I'll never forget it. It's true, girls do not do not let go of grudges sometimes. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. Clearly. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. It sounds louder. No, it doesn't. Threaten me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. <laughs> So all of that was just snack, wasn't it? You're not really innocent and harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. Ooh. I could be innocent and harmless if I want to be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to find me live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. Fair. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. Why did you fall asleep with that? Stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar. Its lock broke. She gonna kill us. The table shoved out. Of She's the in here. She's probably up on the ceiling. Where is she? This is the supernatural style. She's up on the ceiling in a burning flame. Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. Oh God! What are you like a wraith? You try and stumble oh, well, to the foot, but as the princess draws near, it's as her. though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. Oh. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. But does your top half still work? Because you could still shank her. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. True. So helpless. 
I can take my time with oh, you. Oh god. Can't I? She's really crazy. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> One silent footfall at a time, cocking her head that is so curiosity creepy. as you feel your organs shut. The down eyeballs are just like huge. One. Oh even my organs are shutting down? Jeez. She's like a bloodbender. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Oh my Shame. goodness. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful I don't believe that either. They, they all, villains always say that. Like, we could have been so good together or whatever, but then they're the first ones to betray you. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have sex. Oh, that sounds like a horrible way to die. I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Ah! <laughs> well, we tried. Chapter 2, The Nightmare. <gasps> There's another chapter? Wait, but how? We died. We're on a path in the woods. Okay, so we just and at the end of that path start again. Is a cabin. But do we know what we and in the we knew what we knew before? Is a princess. So how does it change? You're here to slay her. Yeah. But I died. What's going on? I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. <gasps> okay. I died. What am I going to do? I can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that. So does the narrator not know, but the hero knows? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Okay. Shh. What if he hears us? <gasps> There's another voice. The voice of the paranoid? That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. I think oh my gosh. It's like we have disasso disassociative identity maybe. disorder. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. Mm -hmm. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Fair enough. We couldn't trust either of you, and as far as I'm concerned, we still can't. All we did was lock her away. And how'd that work out for you? No comment. Well then, congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And your solution is to send us back in there. Do you want us to slay the princess, or do you want the princess to slay us? Ooh. Obviously, I want you to slay her. One of you poses a threat to the world, and the other doesn't. Anyways, I believe your other question was something along the lines of, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess, and now everyone's right back where they started. Sounds pretty consequence-free to me. True. Except now we got an extra voice in our Speak head. Speak for yourself. From my perspective, there were plenty of consequences. I'm never going to forget the way she just made us stop working. It's really interesting because, like, I'm assuming every time we die, we're going to get a new voice. So it's like that voice is your past self that's trying to, like, warn your present self that has a mind, you know. And that's only scratching the surface. If what you said is true, it begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or have you found yourself in another world altogether? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Reincarnation? Or, I don't know, maybe we're in an alternate reality. Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she I guess we'll never know. If she brought an end to everything and everyone, how are we supposed to stop her? What do you want from us? I want you to succeed. You'll find a way. You're the only one who can. And for what it's worth, I know you have it in you to finish the job. We don't. You saw what mm -hmm. happened to us last time. We need to leave. Yeah. 
turn around and leave. Oh, we could leave. But we're not going to. We gotta go to the cabin. Are we gonna slay her this time? What's she oh, gonna tell us? Before That's different this anything. time than the last time. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct. This is with true. She was like, we're gonna kill you. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. All right, let's go. The interior of the Oh, cabin it's is different. Plain, the smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table knocked on its side <gasps> in the corner of the room. Look at her over there. A pristine blade stands oh, between and over there. And the open, inviting basement doorway. Dude. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It got creepier. Hold on. What happened to the door? Yeah. There was a door here last time. And that table it's just was an empty frame. up there, and then that wasn't there. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's oh. waiting. <laughs> can feel her eyes on us. Yeah, I can see her. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. He didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Oh, he didn't. <gasps> we could approach the mirror. Let's ask him about it. You're right. I was so stuck on the eyes watching us that I didn't even notice yeah, it. Yeah, look at the... What are you two talking about? There isn't a mirror. What? There's a table, the blade sitting on the floor, and the open doorway leading to the basement. There's nothing else in here. I'm so There's confused. A mirror. Yeah, I can there see isn't. it. We have to look at it. Unless that's what he wants us to do. Oh. Pretending it isn't there is a trick to get us to do exactly what he wants. What do I do? Do I look at the mirror? Why would you lie about there not being a mirror when it's clearly right there? What's the point? I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. <sighs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go for it. You walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see. So he really can't see it. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. Oh my god. Am I about to get jump scared? <gasps> reach forward Whoa, what is my hand? hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. I look like I'm a bird person. Did he make it go away? Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. Ooh. Dude. This game is trippy. This whole cabin is different than I remember it being. Yeah. Very different. He changed it, didn't he? Can I click on Calm any of them? down. Maybe the three of you just think everything is different because you haven't been here before. Enough oh, it said three of us. Life so it's including me as, like, a, another voice. You certainly haven't been killed by the princess. I did die, though. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. All right, take the blade. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It will <sighs> what be is she going to look like this time? Is she going to be different? the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something... I don't know. Like a bomb? Better <laughs> than a knife? Could we have a bomb? Just chuck that bad boy in there and let her blow up and not even go down there. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Let's go. See what we got. You cross <gasps> over the threshold. Whoa, it's so different. A series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, <gasps> as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Even that's different. Because last time it was musty and the rot in the wood. But now it's like we're entering another dimension. 
Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Ooh, I love that. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. <sighs> We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. See, she remembers. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. But you didn't even mention that she remembers. We don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Neri seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such a pessimist right now. Step off into the void between the stairs. What happens if you do that? How hard is it to throw a knife? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so curious about this, but I feel like that's not the decision we want to go to. Say so we don't need a plan. Finally, a voice of reason. The rest of you should take notes. You know why I'm being a pessimist. I'm just asking questions. You make your way to the bottom uh, of the stairs. There's literally nothing here. As you oh. emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. Do I have to make a decision on which way to go? She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Oh. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? It's true. No, I'm not. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Well, buddy, I think we're going to die quite a few times, let's be honest. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Oh, I don't like that. The way she said that. Go back the way you came. Should I just step off into the void? <laughs> so the eyes are to the right, but it looks like this left side just leads into this plank. But I kind of want to go left. I feel like I always go right. You turn to left. the left. A faintly outlined path lies before you. <gasps> oh, jeez. I told you I was going to find you. Oh, <gasps> she looks like a doll, like one of those creepy puppets. As the princess approaches. Your legs suddenly go Not numb. again! Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. Oh, her face is cracked. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think! What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. As your blood begins to coagulate, it's as if every part of your being is coming to a <gasps> lurching halt. Heart, lungs, liver. Ooh, the way the heart nerves. beats with every word. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp lungs. of air as your eyes shoot back open. Heart. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Paranoia, are you saving us? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? I'm sorry, my bad, bro. You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. It's like manual Samuel, where you have to control every Lungs. little bit. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. Lungs, liver, nerves. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Oh, I don't like how she looks. Oh, well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Liver, Even if you look nerves. ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Lungs, it's because she wants you to why? suffer. The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Liver, don't lose sight of your I mean, mission. I guess we should your shank her while we got a chance. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. But our arms are numb. Liver. Why won't you finish me off? Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Nerves. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying this. Oh, show. she's so sadistic. The princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ear. I hate that she's still so pretty. If I 
don't want to see you gone. All I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Your back. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, One liver, moment. nerves. And then Keep it together, gone. paranoia. Just nerves, heart, like lungs, that. Liver. Ah, and there's the fear. She pulls away. But that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? I've already done that. What happened after you killed me last time? What if I just run away? Run. You turn and run, doing your best to put one useless leg in front of the other. You poor, poor things. Wrong choice. You get nowhere before the princess is in front of you once again. You're always going to be a coward. I should have just shanked you. She raises a hand no, to don't take it. No. and pulls it back. Ah! Ew! You don't get the chance to see what lies beneath before it envelops you. Like a creeping mold, the complete reality of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth. Oh god. Death. Too much. Birth again. Decay and bloom, a million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met. Oh my gosh. With every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. Oops, I accidentally double clicked. Your existence hurts them. Wow. Let me out. Wait, why am I letting you out? Did you like come into my body? A lonely soul in a room by itself, weeping. It lives for 80 years, and then it's gone. And then it's there again. Huh? Let me out! A reprieve. A good life. Love. Children. A steady career. Recognition from your peers. Here one moment. Gone the next. The worms have found their orifices. Oh gosh. Let me out! Diagnosis. It forgets everything it is. Anger. Rage. Distance. Poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. It dies. It is reborn. Worse. Lonelier. So, the princess has just lived multiple lives? She's kind of like a vampire. But she dies and comes back. That me... Out. No, 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 no. What's what's happening? To I don't us? know, man. Let me out. This is all too much. I can't keep going. You can't keep going. Well, what are you talking about? He doesn't respond. Did he die? Oops. I think I broke you. Oh, she killed him. I'll see you soon. You'll know what to do. Kill you next time. Your body is dead, but you live on. What? This is too much. Whoa, what happened to my screen? The moment of clarity? You're on a path in the- Shit. What? Shit. What? What the hell was that? Who are we? What are Who we are we? Oh my gosh. Alright, chapter three. There was a princess, I think. There's another one. It's all so fuzzy. It hurts when I try to remember. You shouldn't know about the princess. At least, not until I... You've already been here, haven't you? Now he knows? I guess. It, it feels so long ago, almost like we've never left. We have to let her out. No, that's the opposite of what you're here to do. You have to slay oh, her. Oh, gosh. Slay... We decided not to do that, didn't we? Right, we did. Yeah, we're supposed to let her out. <gasps> There's another it's one! Really the only way this works out for us. If you think about it, she's the one with power here. Nobody else can do much of anything. No. Uh, and another one! to keep her trapped there forever, I think. That was my original decision. We're supposed to be unfeeling. How many times do I have to tell you to snuff out your heart? Oh my god, how many of them are there? We can't be unfeeling. Not when there's so much fear everywhere. 
There's nothing for us to do. We've already tried everything. <sighs> we love her. So we have to set her free. Uh, excuse me, what? <laughs> Can we love something that hates us? Can we love something that hurts us? A lot of people do, unfortunately. To be given an ounce of kindness from something so cruel <laughs> would be more pure than any other love. Alright, Shakespeare, calm down. Why are there so many of us? There aren't supposed to be so many of us. This is bad. You need to get a grip. What did you let happen? How many times have you been here? Just twice, and yet somehow we got like eight voices up in here. Let's see, what if we don't go? I've tried that. Not really. It doesn't work. Our hearts always brought us back to her. The deck is stacked. So many paths, and they're all circles. Facts. Getting back to his earlier question, how many times have you all been here? Let me ask. Many. Many, many, many times. It feels like we've been here forever. But it also feels like we've barely been here at all. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, we just have to do what she says and then everything will be fine. It won't. It will be for us. She said so. Mmm, did she though? You're part of everything. If things aren't fine for everything, they won't be fine for you. There's no difference between fine and not fine. It just goes on and on. But that doesn't make sense. I only remember being here twice before this, and some of you don't seem to remember being here at all. Was I here those other times? Did someone else make the decisions? What does here even mean, if you really think about it? Oh, don't do that to me. Shut up. You were here. Every single time. I don't feel like it. You did your best, really. There's just a pecking order. And our cruel and beautiful goddess sits atop it, right where she's always belonged. You're lucky. What I would give to be able to forget. I've tried to keep them numb, but they're all too soft. A shame, really. Don't think about that too hard. All it will do is weaken your resolve and make it that much harder for you to slay her. Maybe you're shattered in your own way. Are you your memories? Or are you the one perceiving the present moment? Hmm. Ugh, here you go philosophizing again. It never goes anywhere. Yes, this is far from the first time you've asked us about consciousness. Who am I? What am I? What is I? <laughs> yes, they're good questions. Great questions, even. But they don't have any answers. And they all just end in quivering torment. It doesn't matter what we do, because we always find her, and if we don't find her, she always finds us. True. And then she smashes us into smaller pieces. That has been proven. If you all just stopped feeling, we could have been done with this ages ago. Just kill her. Your thoughts are far too scattered to rein back in. Your only option is to silence them. Mmm. Let's proceed, I guess. You slowly make your way through the umbral forest, bumping against unseen trees as you grasp through the darkness for a way forward. But eventually, it's just the mirror? you make it to the cabin. Or rather, you make it to the place a cabin should have been. It's Instead, the mirror again. All you find is an empty hill. No, no, this isn't right. Oh! There's a cabin there. There's always supposed to be a cabin there. Don't ask him about the mirror. He always says he never sees her. Oh, so everyone has said that. He always lies. And he always makes it gone. Stay focused. You still have a job to do, and it's best not to be distracted by fraying thoughts. There is mm. no mirror. You know that as well as I <sighs> Narrator, I think you're evil. She's still here, buried deep inside the earth. Just walk up the hill. You always give too much space to the others. It's why you always lose. Ooh. Approach the mirror. Let's forget about even asking. Walk up the hill, hesitating just beyond the bounds of the cabin. Ooh. The cabin that isn't there. Mm-hmm. You've got to clean the mirror, haven't you? You've got to see yes, what's in it. Yes, I want to know. It. Smash it to pieces. Oh? She's on the other side, and we have to let her out. It's the only way we can be free. It's the only way we can have our thoughts back. Just go around it. Around it? What's that gonna do? Just do something. 
It doesn't matter what. Proceed? Proceed to where? I'm afraid you're going to have to be a little more specific. I'm not going to tell you. That's a new one. Do you think it'll work? Of course it'll work. He always makes the best decisions. It's why he gets to make them. Oh. And it already has worked. It's gone, don't you see? We're one step closer to her. The interior of the cabin is much the same as the exterior of the cabin. A dull, fuzzy, dreamlike nothing. It's empty and isolating, but there's just enough vague shape and unknown texture to suggest the structure therein. Wrong and unsettling as it may be, the only object of note is a pristine blade buried in the dirt floor, a hint of its shining edge teasing through the sediment. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Take it. It's the only way for- I'm gonna kill her this time. All right, take it. Oh, I don't have any choice. You have to take the blade. You lean over the oh! hole and gaze into the abyss. It is so very deep. Oh, we didn't get the blade. The oh the my gosh. You see something staring back at Hell you. no. It fills you with dread. It's a... She's gonna like suck us into the void. She's watching us. She never stops watching us. There you are. Uh, My toy has uh, really come to finish its job. Oh god, no! Princess in the Don't crawl out like that. I really did. Oh my god, now she's got another arm. But it was always just a matter of time. You are going to have to stop running eventually. Not closer. Are we gonna do something? Can we kill her, please? Except for me. I've already taken your will, and you're not getting it back. Uh and it's not just me that you can do and me out. Why is this giving me like pennywise vibes? I don't like it. I hate clowns. It'll be so much fun. You and me together, exploring the world and spreading fear wherever we go. Well, you know Smitten's eating this up. But you'll get to be there too. A witness. I can even make you a little cage if you want. Gilded and everything. No. Do something. Do anything that isn't taking her hand. I'm gonna stab her in the face. <gasps> I don't have any choice. You're just an object. A tool. You were once something else a long time ago. But that was something you or is it just a dull and jaded memory? There's no other ending here. Just take her hand and set her free. You extend your hand oh! to her. For all her past cruelties, the moment feels gentle. Tender, even. I can't believe you just made me say that. I hate I hate you. me too. The motion is difficult at first, as if something still resists your efforts. But then that resistance gives way, and it's over. Did Smitten make this decision? <sighs> and that's the end. I wonder what we're going to do next. Let's take over the world. Where'd you get this third arm, though? I didn't though? think I'd be so... tired. Princess, exhausted, slumps. Why is it so cold? Oh? What the heck? You do not have an opportunity to respond. Something has taken her away, and it's left something else in her place. The mirror... She's gone. Yeah. I can finally think again. Almost. That mirror's back. Yeah? What does that mean for us? I'm sure it'll be whisked away, just like her. Hope it won't be gone. Things are different now, aren't they? I don't know. It seem like there's much else to do here. Finally, we can smash it. Oh, you stop with the smashing. What do we say, boys? One last vain attempt to look at ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd like that. I do really want to look at this We've mirror. We've got a majority. All that's left is to give it a look. Approach the mirror. 
She's gonna pop out of this mirror. You step towards the mirror. It holds truth that you must witness. Something tells me that this is the end of the line. But I don't feel bad about it. Just Unless show me already. It feels okay. The fears. Oh, I'm done fighting. My heart feels quiet. The game was always going to end. I'll be free of all of you. Oh. I'm ready for the truth. I'm ready to sleep. I'm Are some of them going to die? Anywhere that isn't here. Boys, it's been an honor. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. Am I the princess? It's you. What? I am literally a bird. Look like a gargoyle. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. Again? You are at the cabin. And she's over there like, oh, that's a bunch of hands. I thought it was fire, but those are all the little hands that were coming out of her earlier. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What are you? The gift of a fragile vessel? Is this the end of the world? Are you the princess? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you trapped? Are you what trapped me here? I'm so confused. How can the world have ended if we are talking? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? This is mind boggling. Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. What do you think I am? I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. The gift of a fragile letter out of there, do you know the narrator? Are you what sent me to slay the princess? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Let's see, do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Should we just attack her? Nothing as we are, but I know that there are worlds beyond us and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget. If only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. So is she having the same experience as I am? She just has like multiple voices and like multiple realities all swimming around in her head. And that's what all these ha hands are supposed to be? She's just as confused and trapped as we are? Aren't you afraid? Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. This is way over my head. <laughs> and what if I don't let you do this to me? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Okay, make me forget. 
Okay. So we're going to start she from the beginning. That I tell you to remember her. You won't. Everything goes dark and you die. And we're back to chapter one. Holy... What is this game? You're on a path in the woods. My the brain hurts. That path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin... Is a princess, yes. Is a princess. Oh my gosh. Alright, so now that we're starting back at the beginning, I'm going to save this for the next time. And we'll keep playing through this just so we can kind of see all the different pathways that we have to get. And maybe next time we're just going to go... You know, wham bam thank you man we're just gonna kill her and get out of there and see what happens but I have to know more I want to see you like what's in this mirror besides this girl like is the mirror the entity is the mirror the princess and we just have to kill it to get rid of her like what is going on in this game but I like this I like that there's multiple pathways that you can go there's a lot of replayability in this so yeah I don't, I don't even really know what else to say because my brain is just fried right now from all these different perspectives and so many thoughts going on in your head. It's too much. But thank you, Samurai, so much for recommending this game. We will come back to play more of this in part two, so be on the lookout for that. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!